Good morning. It is my first day of final year at uni. I vlogged my first day at second year and I thought it would be quite cool to document my first day going in. So this term I take four modules. So I've got private equity, venture capital. I have labor economics, entrepreneurial finance and leadership. I'm in for on average two to three hours a week um, because it's a two week timetable. I'm hoping to show you what King's is gonna be like. I know they lost 80% of their space because of COVID restrictions with the two meter rule. And so they've gone and rented out four extra new buildings. Of course, I'm not in those beautiful new buildings, but it's okay. At least I get to be in and having some in-person teachings. At King's anyway, they tended to prioritise third years over second years and first years. So I know a lot of first years this year only have one hour or some have none. But anyway, let's get on with the day and I will show you more about that later. So the other day I made my own granola and I just wanted to show it to you guys for some approval. I used gluten-free oats from Morrison's that were dirt cheap because you can never find gluten-free granola that's cheap. Granted, I put it in the oven for an hour because I forgot about it. So it's a little bit crunchy. Um, next time I'm gonna do that for a lot less time, maybe half an hour. Put it on a low heat with some honey chia seeds, cinnamon, ginger, and pecans. They are what make the difference. So my tutorial is at 12.30 to 1.30 which means I'm gonna to have to leave here around 11.45. I wanna be there nice and early because I don't wanna miss a single second of it because now that I only get two hours a week, I've got to really make the most of every second. I was going through all of my lectures yesterday and what pretty much all of them have done is split them into three parts. So like 20 minute sections for each part, which is quite nice because it makes it a lot more digestible. Also what a lot of um, teachers have done is do a little welcome induction video. A lot of them have good audio quality good visual quality so you can see their face and they've got little cool graphics so even though it's online they have clearly tried the hardest which I appreciate and one of my guys private equity and venture capital he's been doing these little podcasts for us where he interviews people at private equity companies like Lloyd's so I can walk to uni and listen to it which I think is really nice like going the extra mile I appreciate that so the tutorial today is labor economics and that's the only lecture I didn't do yesterday so I'm gonna do it this morning so it's fresh in my brain for when I go to the tutorial in my new propagation station which you might have seen earlier so this I bought off Amazon for like £10 no it's like £8 I think and I'm just going to fill it with water you can change it every day and then they grow I will let you know in a couple of weeks how these grow and become their own plants they will hopefully grow into that one up there my friend joanna she has a website called fiddle and thorn so if you are getting into propagating or any if you've just got plants and you want to know how to look after them they have it all on their website but anyway i'm going to get them out of the sun because i don't want them to burn i will get back to my lectures in a little bit but I got another delivery which will hopefully go over the top of my door so that I don't have to use these little pegs in the wall that were there. I hope I don't have to build it. Oh no, oh no. Actually that was instruction three. I'm trying to unscrew this with a not a screwdriver. But they've sent me Ikea stuff on Amazon. Are you recording this? <laughs> Struggling! I wanna, it's not working! I can do one side. Enjoy! So you're after your left. Stay safe, don't forget your mask because if you don't wear a mask they can stop your class at any point and they don't have to continue it. Oh yeah, don't worry I've got a mask. Bye! Bye! I think this is going to take a little bit too much of my time and I don't have very long but something I can definitely do is put on my screen protector which arrived you might have noticed but I do have a new computer so this is the HP Spectre X360 it's 360 because yes it can flip the whole way around and become a tablet oh they've given me two I know I've been cleaning this for about five minutes okay I need to we do have a few bubbles, but fear not, I'm going to get rid of them with the little cardy thing. Now would you look at that, all oh, beautifully done. 
So before I do a quick little desk tour, I thought I should let you know that HP have kindly sponsored today's video and they have a back to school offer where if you buy one of the qualifying HP Envy or Spectre laptops, they are gonna donate 200 pounds to a school of your choice. This will help towards laptops and other expenses. So this is a little quick overview of my desk. So as you can see, I actually have a laptop stand which I got off Amazon for pretty cheap. It's a really sturdy, heavy duty one. Um, and it basically means that I don't have to crane my neck looking down at my computer all day. And also extra storage so I can shove stuff under there. Because all my lectures are gonna be online this year, I thought, you know, I'm gonna be spending so much more time on my computer. So that's why I upgraded to my HP Spectre X360. It's a 13 inch. It has the Intel Core i7 10th generation processor, which is one of the fastest on the market. It also has a fingerprint reader for a quick login, which is very useful when you have a Teams meeting in one minute. So for the past few days, every evening, I've been watching Disney Plus before going to sleep. And because this computer has such a good processor and also such high resolution, it's perfect for streaming. So this laptop not only came with this lovely leather case, which means that it won't get scratched up in my bag, but it also came with the HP pen, which has very good weight distribution throughout. And it means that I can annotate my uni notes on OneNote, and I can also annotate my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. I've been looking for ages to try and find the right device that I can use for editing, but as well as uni. One thing that's very useful is the webcam kill switch. As I'm gonna be having one of my tutorials online and I'm gonna be having a lot more Zooms and team meetings, it's actually really important for me that it has this on so basically it's a hardware switch a lot of my friends and even on my old computer I had to stick ugly washi tape and post-it notes over my camera just to make me feel safe right. so this is what our tutorial is gonna be on so the timing of today's lecture is a little bit awkward I won't get back until 2 15 but have to leave here at 11 45 which is very soon. So I thought what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a snack and also pick up a prep drink on the way down because if you haven't seen on my Instagram, I go there at least two or three times a day. I'm currently signed up to their monthly subscription and then I'm gonna cancel it at the end of this first free month. But you can get up to five drinks a day and any drink you like, including smoothies, coffees or whatever. So what uni has done is they have tried to make the tutorial classes a lot smaller which means that the hours that students and teachers are working a lot longer. So for example, tomorrow, I have a tutorial at 8 a.m. in person, which I'm really grateful for, but it means that I have to wake up around six-ish to get there. Um, and then one of mine finishes at 6 p.m. So we're working across longer hours. But all lectures are online and they're released on Monday so that you work through them in your own time throughout the week. So you need some motivation and some like drive to do it and stick to a schedule but I think that's good practice, maybe. What does the PC stand for? Oh, okay. It was honestly a little bit weird, but it was nice to be back in campus. There were five of us in our tutorial, so it's really small. I run out of food pretty much for dinner and for breakfast tomorrow, so I'm gonna head home and do my food trip on the way by the huge lid on Tottenham Court Road. Also gonna pick up a matcha latte with coconut and rice milk to give me some energy. I've got my breakfast things here, my dinners and vegetables, my crisps. I bought crisps. I got us an antiviral surface cleaner. Guess what it says on it? It says it kills all the coronaviruses. <laughs> yeah. Oh this is a mask that Neve made. It was a little bit too small. So I've got a disposable used mask. This has been used. Do not feel I'm not wasting it. I'm just gonna cut off all these parts and stick it around here. Oh my god, I've forgotten the pain of trying to thread a needle. Hey look, we got one side done. Also, the green silk mask that you would have seen me wearing in today's video, that is actually from a small Etsy shop. I got it because it had wire in the nose, so when I wear my glasses, which won't be for much longer because I'm getting laser eye surgery in two weeks, it doesn't fog up, which is really, really helpful. I think they're about eight pound, nine pound. Grand reveal. Oh, fits perfectly. I did it! I mean, that probably took, what, half an hour? <laughs> doing this. This is a joke. Yeah, just an absolute success. I just asked our neighbour who leaves one down. He had a whole kit of tools. So now 
this is fully stable and wait let's do a grand reveal oh that's lovely oh now i've got a nice clear corner now that i've done all my arts and crafts it's time to do a little bit of adult admin just basically tidied my desk so that i can get ready for the new year and i found loads of gas stuff and invoices that i need to put into my folder so this is my adult folder that i made about this time maybe last year because I was keeping all of the important um, bills that we were getting for the flat this one is our council tax it says we have to pay zero pounds I like that one so Thames Water Virgin Media I've got my certificate as well okay, Santander banking stuff so this is my laser eye surgery stuff that's all being filed away I think I have procrastinated enough now and it's probably time to get cracking on with my tutorial work because like I said I have a tutorial tomorrow at 8 a.m. and I haven't done the tutorial work for it and there's no way I'm gonna be waking up earlier than 6 to do it so I'm gonna do it now so for private equity and venture capital all I have to do is just read this times document so what I've done is I've just downloaded it. Then all I have to do is just read it on here and I can highlight stuff and I can draw stuff with my pen. So as it is coming up to, oh, it's just gone seven o'clock. Nicole and I are going to make a very interesting dinner. We are going to be sharing our sausages, baked beans, hash browns and egg. So on tonight's cinema, ladies and gentlemen, we are watching While You Were Sleeping. This is a film that I used to watch all the time with my family. It has Sandra Bullock in it and it is just such a Christmassy film. And because I've just had basically a cooked breakfast for dinner, I am very much feeling in a warm, cosy mood. Oh. 